Hi, my name is Patrick Flick. For a university project, Ludwig Lindhuber and me worked on a project we call Public Transportation Door Detection, short PTDD, for the visually impaired. The goal of this project is to enable visually impaired or blind people to find the doors of a tram at a tram stop using a webcam or a cell phone camera. For detecting the tram doors, as shown in the picture, we use methods from the field of computer vision. After the image is recorded by the user's camera and the doors are detected, the blind user is then informed about the position of the doors via sound. In this video, we will present only the detection part of the whole process. For detecting the doors, we followed two different approaches. One approach is using colors and color segmentation, and the other one is using edges and corners to find doors. First, I'm going to explain the idea behind the color segmentation approach. So, let's go back to the original image. The idea to find the doors is fairly simple. Using color segmentation, we are trying to detect the red line here at the top of the tram. Now given this red line, we are searching below it, in the areas highlighted now, for these small grey areas within the big yellow area. With this we already have the point at the top middle of the door. From here we just guess the approximate door size based on the size of the detected red line. Next I will explain the geometric detection approach. The doors are detected by the edges and corners in the image. This algorithm is described in the paper Robust Door Detection in Unfamiliar Environments by Combining Edge and Corner Features by Xiao Dong Yang and Jing Li Xiang. Let's take this image as an example for describing the steps of this algorithm. The first step is to detect the edges in the image. For this purpose we use the Kenny Edge Detector. In the second step we detect corners along these edges. Four corners create possible door. Because of that Every corner combination consisting of four corners has to be checked. The angle, the parallelism of the two vertical edges, the size and the aspect ratio are checked in order to eliminate as many candidates as possible. In the last step we fuse all remaining door candidates into one door candidate. The final result of this method is a good approximation of where the door lies in the image. Now our two different algorithms already perform well on their own. Still we were able to improve the recognition rate further by combining the results of both algorithms. In the following demo you will see by the color of the shown rectangle which one of the algorithms produced the shown result. Here shown in orange the color segmentation algorithm which now shortly switches over to the corner detection algorithm which was just now shown in purple. Now again the color segmentation algorithm is used. Here another example video showing the results for another kind of tram. Here yet another kind of tram, the number 5. For this tram the color segmentation algorithm does not work due to a missing red line at the top. Here only the corner detection algorithm is used, still with good results.